Hey guys, Christina DeWittowitz here, back with another video for you. This time it's a product review on a pet treat tossing cam. The Woe Pet. So it's actually called the Woe Pet Smart Pet Camera. And the description says it's a dog treat dispenser, full HD Wi Fi pet cam with night vision for pet viewing. So this is actually pretty popular on Amazon. Last I checked, it had four and a half stars on Amazon and it retails for $137.99. And you can compare that to the Furbo that I have right here that it's currently for sale for $199. I think originally it's $250, yep, $249. So I guess there's a sale going on on the Furbo right now too. So since I have the Furbo and the Woe Pet, I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of do a comparison in case you're trying to decide which one is worth it, which one would be better, because I know it is kind of a major price difference, before the sale at least. So let's just do a quick size comparison. The Furbo is actually pretty small compared to the Woe Pet. The Woe Pet seems ginormous, but it also seems like it can hold a lot more treats. So here is the actual treat dispenser on the Woe Pet. Seems pretty similar to the Furbo, but it does seem like it can hold a lot more treats. So here's a look inside the Furbo. It's pretty deep, but you can't fill it up that much. It actually says the max fill is right there. Oops, right there. And that's just like not even halfway to the top of the Furbo. The Woe Pet doesn't have any sign of fill it up to here. It just kind of lets you go to town. Or maybe it's exactly the same. The major differences that I've noticed with the Woe Pet, it says it has a wide angle camera, but it really doesn't. When I'm looking at the Woe Pet camera, it's like I'm looking at my own phone camera. If I just pull up the camera app and take a picture, it, it seems like it's exactly the same. It doesn't seem wide angle to me at all. You're getting a straight on shot at what you're looking at and that's it. When really, when they say wide angle, that means that you can see a much more wide angle view, which means you can see more in that corner, more in this corner, a little bit below you, not exactly all of the floor directly below where that camera is, but you can see a little bit. So when I'm tossing treats through my Furbo, I can actually see my dogs and watch them try to catch it or watch them sniff around below the Furbo. No matter where I place the Woe Pet, I can't see my pet sniffing around for treats. And I think that's something that we all really want to see when we are using a pet cam. Looking at the Woe Pet, I can maybe only see the top of my dog's ears. And they're standing at the same distance they would be standing at from the Furbo. So I really don't think it's truly a wide angle lens on the Woe Pet. One thing that I think could be improved on is the lag. There seems to be maybe a five second or so lag when you're looking at the camera through the Woe Pet. And I've tested this out multiple times. I wanted to make sure it wasn't just my internet connection or maybe the Woe Pet was just having an off day or something, or maybe it was just my internet. But every time I try it, if I have the Woe Pet upstairs and I'm downstairs and I wanna check and see what my dogs are up to upstairs, I talk to them through the Woe Pet camera that has two-way audio, just like the Furbo, and I can hear my voice play back five seconds later. And it's not just the audio, it's also the video. So both the video and audio have a lag of a few seconds. So one thing I noticed right away is that it doesn't have a little red light that comes on when night vision is active. It took me a little bit to realize what the red dot on the Furbo actually was, because I would see it turned on randomly and I'm like, what is it doing? Like, is someone watching me through my Furbo? No, everything's fine. I found out because I completely forgot after I read the instructions when I first got it, the red light on the Furbo means night vision is active and anytime I'm gonna turn on the Furbo at that time, it's gonna be in night vision. And that comes on when it's not even completely dark. Maybe say when it's when it's dusk, that'll start to turn on. Now on the, on the Woe Pet, it doesn't look like that at all. And if there's no change when it gets a little bit dim during the day, it doesn't seem likely that there's going to be good quality night vision on your camera. So here's a look at the Woe Pet from 1135 at night. And then here it is again at 250. So night vision is actually pretty good and I'm pretty impressed with it. For comparison, here's a look at the Furbo camera from 1135 at night. Now I know you get what you pay for and I know sometimes some things can be way overpriced, but with the Furbo you get motion sense alerts. The Woe Pet doesn't offer any of that. It's strictly a camera 
to use to check in on your pet when you want. So you don't get barking alerts, motion sense alerts, a person alert, you don't get any of that. And that's just, I think, a major difference between the Furbo because everything else, if you look in between at all that, everything else is pretty much the same in what they offer. The quality isn't the same, but the what they offer is. And as I was editing this video, I logged onto my Furbo and I saw that now you have to pay for all those features that I just talked about. For some reason, I thought that we still had them. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe we were just on a free trial, but now you gotta pay for those features. One strange thing that I did notice about the Wopet is that the treat tossing feature that's kind of a little wonky. Sometimes I'll toss a tree just one time, which is what I want. I've only pressed the button once. And then another time, it just tossed treats like three, four times. And I was like, whoa, what is this? It's just a secret feature that I didn't know about. Did I somehow trigger a multiple treat toss feature? That can be fun for the dogs, especially when you have two. So sometimes that happens, it doesn't bug me at all. Whereas with the Furbo, that hasn't really happened. One thing I really like that I wish the Furbo had were these little suction cups for legs. So you can see on the bottom, it has four little suction legs. And I just think that is so convenient and it's not gonna ruin anything on your counters. The Furbo, however, only has little sticky pads and has three of them. It's dog fur. I'm not really, I'm not really into that. I don't want to peel these off and stick it on something. And then when I decide to rearrange and move the Furbo, I'm going to be left with a mark. I don't know. I just always get freaked out about that. Oh, one thing that I really didn't like was something super minor, not actually about how the Wopet works, just about where the cord is. Furbo's cord goes in towards the back. So that means you can completely display the Furbo, nothing sticking out on the sides. The wool pet's cord goes in through the side and I just, it bugs me because it's actually, because it sticks out a lot. And so no matter how I turn it, the cord feels like it's in the way or I feel like I'm gonna bend the cord in a way I don't want to. Super minor, but I just don't like that. In the end, this is not bad. I think it's a good product. The Wopet is strictly a camera to check on your pets when you want. So if you don't care for the extra features that the Furbo has, if you don't care for all those motion alerts or recordings when you're not home to catch your dog when they're in motion or when they're barking, this isn't a bad option at all. So at $137 with a $25 off coupon, your total gets to $112. So for $112, bucks, you can get a treat tossing pet cam. And I don't think that's bad. And for me, it kind of does suck not being able to see my dogs whine when they do get a treat and then they're there begging for more directly right in front of it, right below it. So if they're probably like right here, I want to see them whine. I want to see that if I'm not home, I want to see how cute they look and talk to them, which you can talk to them. Yeah, I get it. It doesn't, it's not the best on the Wopet compared to the Furbo. But if you're balling on a budget, why not get the Wopet? It does mostly the same things without the extra features. You don't need to pay for it. If you really don't need that, I would get the Wopet. I think the Wopet is definitely a good alternative for those who don't want to spend over $200 on a pet cam. But since I have both the Furbo and the Wopet, I put this one upstairs and I leave the Furbo downstairs because now we're starting to leave our puppy. Well, she's one year old now, so she's not a puppy, our girl Karma. And since a lot of us are working from home, so Karma has been pretty wild and free in the house for the most part. And now she can roam upstairs. So it's really convenient to have this to see what she's doing and just to kind of check out what she's sniffing around and if she's getting into mischief. And while the Wopet won't automatically record anything for you, you do have the option to do it yourself. You can take your own picture and then you can record your own video. And also has options for you. If you're looking at the app, you can look at your video in HD mode or even SD, which I'm not really sure why you would want that. But if you have really slow internet, not the best kind, you can definitely switch to SD and that'll make the video load faster. There's even an option for smooth. So I sometimes when I click on that, I feel like I'm looking at a Photoshopped version of my dogs on video. One thing that took me a while to figure out was how to actually toss the treat through the Wopet app. On the Furbo, I just kind of literally toss. You don't have to, but it's just a habit I've gotten into since I started using it. You can just tap the treat and it throws or you can flick it. But you actually have to hold it down 
for a few seconds. So it makes a little circle. So it's kind of like you're shooting a little Instagram video and your recording kind of goes like in a circle. Hold it down for a few seconds and then your treat will be tossed out to your pet. So if I were to give the Woe Pet Treat Tossing Cam a rating, I would give it a seven. I say seven because it's a basic pet cam that can toss treats. And I think that's a really good feature to have in itself compared to just a normal pet cam, like a night, like a nanny cam. But at least you can still talk to your pet, have them talk back to you and toss them treats and record on your own time. And I think because I've experienced both the Furbo and the Woe Pet, I would still go with the Furbo personally. But again, if you don't care about all those crazy features, I would go with the Woe Pet. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that the Woe Pet does let you record your own little treat alert, which is what you get with the Furbo too. So we have a whistle for a Furbo from my boyfriend and I do a little who wants a treat for the Woe Pet. So that's something similar. So that's something that both pet cams offer. And also if you're not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do. I like to do product reviews and little daily life vlogs, day in the life vlogs. And also side news, I started a blog. I thought it'd be a lot easier to kind of have everything that I talk about in one spot. So if you're looking for something that I've talked about in a video and you don't know which video it was, I'm gonna have all that information put together on my blog. Now it's something currently in progress. I do have it up. It's ChristinaDewitowitz.com. Totally easy to find. And I have a page for my corgis. I have a page for my YouTube videos. And I'm gonna have a little section about some of my favorite products that I currently use. And just anything that you're looking for, just let me know and I'll make sure to have everything in one spot. I'm really excited about this vlog. I think it's gonna be a really cool creative outlet for me and a good way to kind of support my YouTube channel and then also have my YouTube support my blog. So I think it'll be great. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my little review on the Woe Pet and my little comparison between the Woe Pet and the Furbo. And for those of you who are trying to decide which one would be better to get, I hope this video helped you out. Let me know if you have any questions about the, about the two pet cams down below and I'll make sure to get them answered. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video, bye.